No kidding? You're going to tell me all about my life? Yes, indeed we are. But before that, though, how many pieces do you want? I don't want any pieces. All I want, all I want to say to you, birthday cake, you, you've had a wonderful life. And to show you uh, what the, what a wonderful life you uh, you've had, let's meet some of the people making uh, some of the important people in your life. Let's see if you recognize any of these three voices. What? <laughs> Good today. No, it's Billy's. All it takes. Like, honey's here today, so she's gonna go bridal shopping again. I get the idea. I'll deal with the food. I want to stop a little more food she's piling on. Now you know the stories of the BC epidemic. Well, look at this. Well, you get the idea what's been, what I've been going through. Well, that's pretty much all I have to say. Be good. Stay out of trouble. Beatman. Thank you, Ray. Ray, 
He's in the toilet. Alright. Here we go. While the water level in the tank is going down, gravity is pulling down this float at the end of this long metal rod. That opens this valve, which lets more water in. Meanwhile, back at the flapper valve, as soon as all the water is out of the tank, it seals off the hole so the tank can fill up and be all ready for the next flush. You tell me, is the cologne combustible? As human waste breaks down, it gives off natural gas. The same stuff we use in the kitchen stove. And we all know that natural gas can explode. When the waste is flushed in the sewer, it gives off gas. All you need is for that gas to come back up in the old warp rocker, run into a spark, and kaboom the loop. What am I gonna do, Peekman? Hey, not to worry. Come on, today's modern toilet has trap clouds around it. No, not that kind of trap. <laughs> it's called a trap because it's full of water. And it traps gases so they don't come back up through this pipe and into the toilet. It's another form of a valve. It allows the water to go out, but doesn't allow gas to come back in. Oh, thank goodness! And now it's time for everybody's here for the reunion show. Here is your life. Here's your host, Ward Zero. Thank you, thank you. Welcome to Here's Your Life. I'm here to introduce today's third life guest with just a loaf of bread. Shh. Loaf of bread for 30 minutes. You think you ought to order her for a pork sandwich really going to talk our life? I ain't quite. That's perfect. You may her now. Come in. I'm here to learn a lot of redhead. Hey, is this Here's Your Life? Am I on TV? Hi, Mom. Hey, please, ow, ow. Excuse me, are you a loaf of bread? Yes, how many slices do you want? I don't want any slices. All I say is loaf of bread. Here is your life! No I'm kidding? You're going to tell me about my life? Yes, indeed we are. I must say you have very wonderful life. Let's meet some of the people that you haven't seen in a long time. Listen to this voice. I remember what you wrote. I remember you were an adorable recipe. Oh no, you don't mean. That's the D.I. do. Always from the bakery down the street, Betsy the Baker. Hello, everybody. You know what? Can you tell what I, what, what I what wrote like back right then? Let's see if you're a cell. It's just an adorable recipe. Alright, now stay back till we hear from some of the wolf bread past. Boo! A root and round the flower. Oh no, you know me. Yes indeed I do. All the way from the farm. Farmer bread and then crack carry cow. What was what did you do for loaf of bread? Well, you said, oh, I grew wheat and ground the flour? And I mix it with yeast and roll it and make it out made into loaf of bread. Oh, yeah, thank you, everybody. Thank you. The loaf of bread you saw in Betsy Baker's shop. You were happy with all the other loaf of bread. And then. Someone came along for a loaf of bread next to you. Oh yes, that loaf of bread was your best friend. Oh yes, you haven't seen her in many years many times. Well, not exactly. <laughs> and then some kid by you next. Listen to this boy. I don't have a bad on you. Oh no, you know me. That's all for the restaurant. Paper or jelly sandwiches and the French toast. I don't have a bad on you. And here's your wife. Without the. Now it's time for everybody's here reunion show. Here is your life. Here's your Here's Life host, Ben Garland. Shh, greetings and welcome to Here's Your Life. I'm here at Google where I'm here to surprise our Here's Your Life guest, a sneaker. And do you know why? Why is that? Because, sneaker, here is your life. No kidding? You're going to tell you about my life? 
Yes, indeed we are. And I just want to say, Speaker, that you live a wonderful life. Let's be some of the people that haven't seen in yours. Do you recognize this voice? I remember you when you were just a, a piece of leather. Oh, no, you don't mean. Yes, indeed I do. All the way from the shoe factory, Tom Clancy, the shoemaker. Now tell us, what was, was Speaker like back then? Oh, you should see for yourself. It was just a wonderful piece of leather. Oh, sure he was. Well, thank you so much, Tom Clancy. I owe him a lot. Thanks, but we're not through yet. Here, you recognize this place? I don't remember when we used to walk to school together. Oh, no, you don't mean. Yes, indeed I do. It's the girl who wore you, Susie. Now tell us, what was Sneaker like right then? Well, we had a great time. We used to walk to school together. It's really amazing. Well, thank you so much, Susie. Thank you so much. We'll see you later. She's right. I wouldn't be there if it weren't for her. Yes, but then you realize there was someone missing in your life. You recognize this voice? Thanks to see how. You know, remember me, Lefty? Oh no, you don't mean. That's the DA do. It's your mate, Righty. Oh great, it's sure great to see you. Thank you. It's sure great to have you back in my life. Yes, yeah, sir, it's your life. Without those things, and you won't be here today. Till then, I'm Ben Girl, wishing you for another episode of Here Is Your Life. This is Ben Girl, and saying so long for now. Hey, bud. Huh? I'll show you something that no home should be without. What? It's a scale. waste things or something? Right. Now imagine you had that uh, we're making an apple pie. Yeah. And the recipe says add two pounds of apples. Mm -hmm. What would you need? Well, I need, I need to just go uh, weigh them. Right. Okay, put that there. And imagine you were making a banana cream pie. And the recipe says add two pounds of bananas. Delicious bananas. So what do you need? I just need a scale to weigh them. A scale looks just like that one right there, right? Right. Because a scale is something that no home should be without. You're so I'll sell the scale to you for one dollar. Well, listen, uh, Ted. Uh, we don't really have a scale. But I'll tell you what. I'll take a pound of those bananas. There's bananas and two pounds of apples. And about three pounds of onions. And there's broccoli fresh. I'm not sure whether I love fresh broccoli or not. How about some artichokes? And maybe, you have any uh, zucchini? Probably so wants. Never mind. And next week, boys and girls, we have a special guest, Mr. Fawfan76, who's an ultimate Muppet fan. And anyway, we have another guest. This one, we have, this one, we have a lawyer for you this week. This one comes from Gabrielle Dove, up in Chester, Pennsylvania. And when she writes, Dear, dear Ted Harris, Last week my parents got divorced and all that. Uh, that my, my mom lives in one place, my dad in another. Is there anything I can do to go, that got my parents divorced? Is there anything I can do to get the, my parents back together? Sincerely, Gabriel Dove, Chester, Pennsylvania. Well, Gabriel Dove, sometimes people, people work together and don't live together. They do much better people than ever. Or much better people than ever. There are all kinds of people chucked out there that are some people that live just a his mom, or just his dad, or the grandparents, or the older brother or sister, or his foster parents, or his or the group home, or sometimes the aunt or uncle, or sometimes by not see their parents for weeks, or months, or maybe years at a time. Just because your parents don't love each other anymore, or it doesn't mean, it doesn't mean they don't love you. Work hard, the family your heart. Or a young girl, you'll be alright. Goodbye. <laughs>